everybody. It is Sunday morning, September 27th, 10, 12 a.m. Bob is off to the gym. I was kind of toying with the idea for a hot second this morning of going with him and then thought, you know, my anxiety is just not there yet. So yeah, that didn't happen. As you can hear, yes, we still have crazy pants. Um, she actually goes H-O-M-E today. She doesn't know that. Um, so yeah, that's a thing. I'm up here in the art room checking on social media and stuff, which she's not happy about because she wants me downstairs on the couch with her. Um, yes, yes, I know. Um, anyway, uh, it's Sunday. It's just going to be a chill, relaxing day. I think we might go for a W-A-L-K later. Um, I have a few art projects I might start on. I also have the vlog for last week to edit and all of that jazz. Um... I just got done checking on social media, so we're all good there. I have to redo my lists of to-do things for next week. And I have upcoming this week, we have the cleaning lady coming. It's time for the bug people to come spray. I have a telehealth doctor's visit on Tuesday morning, which is going to be interesting. So it's going to be a busy week, I think. <sighs> anyway, all right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. For an afternoon walk. This is the river by our house. I think that's a Tualatin River. I think so. Anyway, enjoying the fresh air and sunshine, getting some vitamin D. Yeah, I'm looking at the uh, canoes or the kayakers. Kayakers. I Paddlers. like. Fun fact: I like kayaking. As long as the water is calm like that, I'm good with it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna keep walking. I'll be back. It's Monday morning. Well, Monday lunchtime. It's just like 10 minutes after 12. I uh, spent the morning working on laundry, which I'm going downstairs to change loads and actually fix myself a lunch. Um, I've been trying to get video clips off the camera on the phone, um, which they're finally done. And um, now I can edit the vlog while I eat lunch. Uh, while I was waiting, I was swatching a bunch of watercolors um, that I made recently. I'll put a picture here somewhere. I was making the color keys and some swatches for some of them. Some of them are intended for Patreon giveaways, so I'm trying to get those ready. Um, I also owe the patrons a Zoom meeting, which I haven't scheduled yet, so ooh, bright light. So yeah, and my furnace filters finally came in, which, uh, bright light, I have to get upstairs. So, you know, typical Monday, lots of stuff going on. And I guess I had the volume turned down on my phone because my phone rang twice and I didn't know it until I got voicemail. Or it didn't ring at all. It's like the second time recently that that's happened, so it's very weird. Anyway, um, one was spam, one was my doctor's office confirming my telehealth appointment tomorrow. So, that's all right. All right. I think that's it for the minute. I'm going to make some lunch, change laundry loads, and get back to editing. All right, I'll be right. back. So it's Monday evening, because it's after five, so I guess technically it's evening. We're going out for a walk. We're without Lily, <laughs> which <laughs> we love her, but you know. <laughs> no pool. No pool, no, we don't have to tell her no grass. We don't have to call her crazy pants. Um, I got a lot of stuff today, including starting working on the New Zombie Doll series, The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. So I'm working on uh, the first one, the white one. Conquest? Conquer. 
I don't know, he carries a bow and arrow. My notes are back at the house. Anyway, we'll be doing some work on him on the live broadcast on Wednesday, <clears throat> which has to be Wednesday because I've got stuff tomorrow. And yeah, anyway, we're gonna go get some steps in and I'll be back. Hello people, it is Tuesday, September 29th, my husband's birthday. Everybody wish him a happy birthday. Um, he is, of course, working. <laughs> I ordered him a couple of things for his garage on Amazon, so they should be in in a few days. We are going to do birth birthday dinner in and all of that because hello, COVID. Uh, anyway, I had a telehealth appointment with my doctor this morning. I've got to do some blood work, but I don't need to fast before I go in, so that probably means they're not doing blood sugar. I'm not not sure. Um, she's also going to be prescribing me a new daily asthma medicine, at least for right now during fire season, since I'm having an issue since we had the smoke problem. Um, <clears throat> I want to do that all the time. Um, so, and actually she's called it into the pharmacy already. And I'm across the street from there. I was picking up some more blood glucose test strips. No, I'm not diabetic, but my mom is severely diabetic. And as were a bunch of relatives on both her side and my dad's. So it is something I keep an eye on. I'm trying really hard this year to get my health under control. And I'm doing pretty good. I've lost another 11 pounds since the last time I saw the doctor. So yay me. Um, anyway. Um, I do check it periodically, and I was out at Test Strips. Well, not out, out. I have some, but they expired like a year ago last month. I know, right? So, yeah, I don't know how accurate the readings are with those. <laughs> they do work, but, you know. So, anyway. <clears throat> uh, these things are time sensitive, so I went and picked up some more. Uh, anyway, I'm going to pop over to the pharmacy and... I guess see if they cover this new asthma medicine because I don't even know if they're going to cover it. So I'm going to pop in and see if they'll find out for me. Uh, okay. And I need to try to get over, but that's going to be fun. Massive amounts of traffic. So anyway, it's 1.35 p.m. on the 29th and I'm out doing some things, yes, that I need to do, but I also just want to get out of the house, to be honest with you. So we're kind of doing both. Anyway, that's it for the minute. I'll be back.
guys, it's 5.15 p.m. Yes, p.m. <laughs> Wednesday, September 30th. Completely forgot to vlog all day today. The cleaning lady um, has been here. We love our Letty. She helps me get that, keep the, get and keep the house clean. She's wonderful. Hold on. Ay, ay, ay. Hall bathroom. Okay, one funny fact about me. I like the lids down on the toilets. Um, <laughs> anyway. Uh, it's been a crazy day. I did a live broadcast at 10 because I didn't do one yesterday. And I had appointments and stuff, so it didn't work out. Um, so we did one today. We worked on the first of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, zombie dolls. And I've already turned everything off for the day up here, so we'll turn some lights back on. Um, anyway, here is the... Rider, and here is his horse. Now, the pattern for my version of the zombie dolls is um, available in my Etsy shop and includes templates for the bones and skeleton. Um, on the back of these, I have printed a label, um, and the rider and horsemen each have the same label. Um, just explaining what they are. And I've labeled the backs of all of my zombie dolls with their name or something. This is the first time I've actually printed it on fabric and then sewn that to the back of the doll. I do have, keep getting asked about that. So you can of course just iron muslin to freezer paper, cut it to eight and a half by 11 and run that through your printer before you peel it off the freezer paper or use it in a project. You're gonna wanna um, put a couple of coats of some kind of sealer on it, um, a spray sealer, some kind of cryon matte finish spray or something like that. Take it outside and give it a couple of quick coats on the front and back so the ink doesn't run. Um, not that you're going to be washing it or anything, but it'll also help it from fading and all of that stuff. So, um, but I usually have, and I've done that, I usually have though some June Taylor sew in computer printer fabric. Um, there's 10 sheets in here, so not a lot. So I use it sparingly. <laughs> um, it's not super cheap. I usually get it on Amazon or something, although I am gonna um, look and see if there's any other sites on the internet, but it's a June Taylor printer, sew-in computer printer fabric for inkjet printers. So that's what I use. And um, we're gonna be making some Dammit dolls. Anybody remember those? I talked about it in today's live broadcast and I retyped the poem that goes on the doll and printed that on some of the fabric. Um, so I printed labels for all of the horsemen. So they all have their, this is the next one I'm working on is war. And I was working on four horsemen prompts, props, prop, props, hello, English is just bypassing me right now. So this is war's sword. Oops. <laughs> so this is a war's sword. And then I went ahead while I had the copper sheet metal out and the wire and everything, I made the Sith for um, the last one that I'm gonna do, which is death. Um, the one in between is famine or pestilence. I have to make scales figure out how I'm going to make scales. I don't exactly have that worked out in my head yet, but you know, I've got more copper metal. I've got plenty of wire and I got my bag of flies. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I've got a few more skulls. I have more skulls coming. So I don't know exactly yet. I have to figure out how to make the bowls. Yeah, I don't know yet. So I got to figure that out. So anyway, that's what I've been working on today. I did a little bit of computer work, but not too much. Really just put some things away and worked on the horseman. And, and you know, stayed out of the cleaning lady's way so she could do her job. Because, <laughs> you know, I don't need to be in her way. Started on my new inhaler this morning. I'll take a few days to a few weeks to see if it's helping. And, um, yeah, I think I think Bob's going to the gym tonight, I think. Uh, not exactly sure. Um, will I go walking while he's gone? I don't know yet. 
depends on one, how hot it is, and two, how I'm feeling with my asthma. Fun fact, my knee feels great, the asthma sucks. But you know, what are you gonna do? Anyway, I'm gonna sit and have some water and watch some YouTube. When you have people in to do things like clean, they always move things around a little bit where they think they should be rather than where you would like them. So I've been going around the house kind of fixing things. So yeah, I'm gonna do that and I'll okay, be back. So we're motivating ourselves with cookies. <laughs> it's probably not the best way to motivate for exercise, but it is what it is. We're having a blah Wednesday. It's a blah hump day. <laughs> so I don't know. <sighs> my, le le my lungs feel a little bit congested, but they're not too bad. It's a little bit smoky out, but not too bad. We're gonna go walking and see what we can see. I'll be back. Welcome to October. <laughs> it's Thursday, October 1st. It's just before lunch. It's like 11.51 or something a.m. Um, I won't be doing this every day because that's a lot of um, extra work. I just really don't have the time or energy for, but I did start off Artpocalypse 2020 with a little time-lapse video that I will put a, I'll put it here for you all. It's also... Um, and I did the first page in my little journal, playing with that pencil stash that I found. The first thing, of course, that I did was swatch all the pencils, see which ones would smudge well, which ones were duplicates I pulled out um, and put in my purge box, um, which ones would move with water, which ones erased better than others. You need to know what they'll do before you can, you know, work with them. And then I decided to just start off the month simply by using some of the rubber stamps I've designed and creating a page and then coloring it with the pencils to give it a try. And I really like the way that turned out. It's, it's really cute. Um, I used stamp sets 11 and 13. I show on camera also those sets 9 and 14. At the moment that we're filming this, all of my rubber stamps are on sale. There are two that are out of stock already. And it might be 11 and 13, I'm actually not sure, but the link for my Etsy shop is down below. All the rubber stamps and all the stencils are all on sale until the 15th of October. Um, anyway, um, so I have um, done that, so I'm looking forward to that. I will probably tomorrow do a couple pages ahead just because I think doing some over the weekend might be a little bit challenging time-wise. Um, I, pr I probably won't film them, I'll just do still shots, but I'm um, still, it doesn't matter what you do, just share it. Um, Artpocalypse 2020 for the month of October. Um, the prompt words are available all over social media. I will try to remember to put a link with them down below so you guys can get your list. Um, the first word was nature. So we did, we did a nature scene, sort of. Uh, anyway. I am gonna turn some lights off up here and go downstairs and eat lunch. I'm gonna be working on another uh, horse, Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse doll. Today we're gonna work on war. Um, and uh, here's his pieces. Um, did I show yesterday that I made his little sword? I don't remember now until I edit the video, but yeah, there's his little sword. Um, and I made that a Sith for um, the last one, which is gonna be death. And so, yeah, anyway, um, I 
think that's it for the minute. Um, so yeah, my focus is on the drawings and the zo new zombie dolls this week. And pretty much that's it for the moment. Um, I will be filming a couple of things um, for YouTube, um, like Project Pan Art Supply Style and stuff like that. Um, but I don't have to do them until next week. So for right now, I'm going to be working on that stuff. All right. That's it for the minute. I'll be back.
it's 10.22 a.m. Friday, October 2nd. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday morning, October 3rd. Yes, October 3rd, 9.55 a.m. There is a reason you're looking at my computer screen. I'll explain it to you in just a second. I've got to boot up and double check on all the social medias before we go anywhere. We need to go run some errands today that we didn't get done yesterday. That's not what I want. Uh, the kids came over for dinner last night. It was a nice evening. My daughter had been working for a bit in California, so she stopped at Daiso for me. So she was able to bring me back some bags that I needed for some products for the Etsy store. So now I can get those completed and listed. So that's coming soon. However, um, when we were out walking last night, I got a little bit of dark black footage. I'll insert right about here. It was very dark out, but um, we were being very careful and I had a flashlight on and all of that stuff. However, uh, when we were most of the way home, dear sweet uh, grand dog Lily decided to jump back at me and knock me over and I face planted into the concrete. Yeah, so yeah, so that's a thing. I did evidently put my left hand out because my left wrist is sore this morning, but this is what my face looks like. Hold on. So yeah, I'm guessing in another day or so, this probably right here is going to be black and blue. <laughs> it's because there's no scrape here. It's just red. There's a scrape here on the side of my nose. Um, that's probably going to be black and blue too. Um, thankfully, you know, we wear masks out, but yeah, so there's my face for right now. I guess I'm lucky I didn't break anything or knock a tooth out. <laughs> um, but yeah, my phone case, which we're recording on, it got all scratched up. And my screen protector, which was already cracked, is now just, yeah, beyond repair. So um, my daughter ordered me a replacement of both this uh, last night. They should be here Monday. So yeah, fun times. <laughs> hey guys, it's about 11 o'clock on Saturday, the 3rd of October, um, shutting things down for the day, evening, evening, and I'm getting ready to go to bed. As you can see, the face, well, it looks like I got socked in the face. It's not too bad. Uh, I've been still putting ice on it periodically to temper any swelling and um, hopefully reduce the amount of bruising that's going on. I'm going to go downstairs in a minute and put some vitamin E cream on it to aid healing. And it's not too bad considering I literally face planted into the sidewalk last night. So <sighs> yeah, anyway, um, my daughter did come back from working in California and uh, she did make a stop at Daiso while she was there for me, a Japanese dollar store. They have them in California. We don't have them here in Oregon. It's the one thing about California I can tell you besides a few people that I miss. And she brought me back some more bags. So that means that sometime in the next couple of days, the new sticker flakes will be available in the Etsy shop. Now I'm going to try to keep the cost down for you all as much as I can but I am doing this all myself. They're not cheap to produce. And so, I mean, they're not gonna be like $2 or anything. Um, so uh, I'm not gonna gouge y'all, but you know, I gotta make a fair deal on them. So I'm gonna do what I can. Um, what else? It's just a weird week. Hello, apocalypse. It's a weird week. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna work next week on finishing the Four Horsemen. I do wanna make a Day of the Dead doll. Um, and of course, there's a huge list of other zombies. Somebody's uh, suggested in the last live, Mr. Air Quality. That's an interesting idea for a zombie doll. And I've got some ideas. I don't know how I would accomplish them on the doll, but it's an interesting idea. So I'm thinking. I also started working on my Christmas list. I know Christmas is probably not going to be what we all expect. It's going to be just 
you and whoever's in, literally in your house, maybe a couple other people that you trust, but it's not going to be like what we usually do, traveling around and seeing people. And like, I just don't think that's happening. I don't think a lot of people are ready for that, but it's not, I don't think it's happening. <laughs> it's just, is 2020 over yet? <laughs> anyway, uh, we tried to go get flu shots today and there's some information they say they needed that's not on our insurance card that we've never heard of that before. So we couldn't get the flu shots. So we have to wait until Monday and call them and we might just go to the doctor's office. And I don't know. It's just been a weird day. We tried to get some parts for the garage at the at Home Depot, the hard, our local big box hardware store. Um, they didn't have any more in stock. They were sold out. Like the supply chain thing is just an issue always. And it's just so random what's in and what's not. So uh, it's just a weird week. I said that already, right? <laughs> anyway, I hope that despite the weirdness that's going on right now, that you're able to stay creative and that you are um, doing something constructive with the strangeness, whether it's making zombie dolls like I am or, um, you know, making face masks or working out the stress in your journaling and other forms of creativity. Whatever it is, I encourage you to do that. Also talk about it. Find some people that you feel comfortable talking about the situation and the stress and all of the things with, because that's healthy too. It's not healthy to keep it inside, I don't think. Not for me anyway. Um, yeah, with that, I think I'm gonna go to bed. I might have to read a little bit because that's usually my modus operandi to go to bed, to go to sleep as I need to read, but. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Anyway, support the free content if you can here on uh, YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups. There is a link tree uh, link down in the description and in it you will find, when you click on it, you, you will find uh, my Etsy shop and Amazon affiliate stores and the merch store and like all the things for the things. So go check it out. And if you have a favorite content creator either here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, they probably have a way to support too. Uh, I know they would probably appreciate you checking it out and if you can support them. Um, so look into that. There's a few um, young content creators here on YouTube that I am really enjoying and I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch their videos because I wanna find out what their stores are because a couple of them do sticker flakes and washi tape. Like, I don't do washi tape, but I do sticker flake. So I'm like, you know, I might need to acquire a little bit for my stash. So anyway, check it out. Um, stay safe, stay creative, stay healthy. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And above all, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.